Okay, on this problem, it's a quadratic inequality. If you remember on a quadratic inequality, you try to uh, find out what the zeros of this expression are, the 2x squared minus 7x minus 4, um, or the solutions, and then you plug the, place those on a number line, and then you uh, test the points to find out what parts of the number line are true. So the first thing we have to do is, is see if we can um, solve this. So I always try to factor on a problem like this, because usually you'll be able to factor on a problem like this. So uh, in factoring, I'm going to look at, I know I've got to go 2x, and I know that I've got to go x, because 2x times x gives me a 2x squared. And then if I, if I try 2 times 2 in there, well, that's going to give me even numbers, which I need a, po a 7, not even numbers. So I need the 4, and so I'm going to try negative 4 and positive 1 and see if that works out. And if you look at it, it turns out that, yes, it does work out. So you can find out what your x's are. One of the x's is easy. That's from this one. We have x equals 4. The x, other x is a little bit more difficult. It's going to be 2x plus 1 equals 0. If you solve this, just subtract 1. 2x equals negative 1. So x equals a negative 1 half. So your number line looks like this. Just go ahead and make a normal number line. And then we plot our point. So negative 1 half is right here. And I like to just go ahead and make a designation that to, to help me see the regions that are possible solutions. We do the 4 right here. And this creates three regions. And these three regions are the possible solution sets either less than negative one-half, between negative one-half and four, or greater than four. Those are the possible solutions. The way you determine is by checking a point in each one of these. So I'm going to try negative one in that, that region, zero, because zero is always easy in this region, and then five. And it doesn't matter where you check. You can either check uh, in the original, or you could check in your, when you did your factoring. The factoring is usually easier, because when I put in negative one, 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2, plus 1 is a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative, or minus 4 is a negative 5. So when I plug negative 1 into the equation, it gives me 5, and 5 is not less than or equal to 0. So negative 1 is not a solution, so that means everything in that region is not a solution. So the next one we're going to try is 0, so you're going to have 2 times 0 plus 1. And 0 minus 4, very easy, right? 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Well, negative 4 is less than or equal to 0, so that one's good. And then you try 5. 2 times 1, or 2 times 5, plus 1 is 11. 5 minus 4 is 1. 11 um, is, great, is not less than or equal to 0, so 5 doesn't work. So the only place this work is between negative 1 half and 4. It's less than or equal to, so we're going to use brackets. And it's going to be between negative 1 half on the bottom side and then 4 on the high side. And that's your answer, negative 1 half to 4. All the answers, all the numbers between negative 1 half and 4 are the correct solution.